president of William Jewell College is Dr. David Salee. Dr. Darlene Bailey is our athletic director, and our associate athletic director is Lucas Morgan. And Lucas joins us here at halftime on the High V Halftime Report. Welcome. And I'd forgotten there was an alumni event here today, and uh, why don't you talk a little bit about how that uh, went? Yeah, Rick, thanks for having me. I appreciate you guys good inviting to, good me to, to have be you. up here. Uh, today was good. Um, got over there about 10 o'clock this morning. We had probably 30 or 40 parents, uh, supporters of Jewel Athletics, some donors, some boosters. And it was a good event for us. It got us an opportunity to get out there and talk to some people in the Colorado area. And it's always good when we have an opportunity to leave the Kansas City area and go visit with some of the people that don't get an opportunity to come see us at home all the time. You've been uh, the associate athletic director now for a year with the departure of Joel Lucid, and we were teasing on the air. Joel woke up this morning to a couple of inches of snow, I think, up in Rapid City. It did snow here yesterday. Did you see it? I saw a little bit of snow. When I got here at 8 o'clock yesterday morning, got off the plane, about 33 degrees, a little colder than what I was used to, and I almost <laughs> no didn't kidding. bring a jacket. When my wife was getting ready to drive me to the airport, I said, I don't think I'm going to need a jacket. It's supposed to be pretty warm there. It's September. It's a good thing I brought it because yeah, it was pretty was. chilly when I got off yeah, the plane. Yeah, you know, I'm an old Wyoming guy. You better have a jacket with you 12 months a year, you know, as far as that goes. Hey, let me ask you, Lucas, uh, the changes, you know, in your job and what you're doing, what are some of the things that people that might be listening don't really understand uh, that are different for you now as a, the associate athletic director? Well, I still do all of our compliance for every one of our 20 sports that we do have, but there's been a little bit of a, a change in my responsibilities. I'm now um, heading our corporate partnerships that we have with our uh, businesses in the local area, and that's been a large part of the job in the transition is trying to, to get out there and uh, garner some partnerships and, and really work to get the Liberty community involved with Jewel Athletics. It's it's something that they've always supported us with, but we're really hitting it head on, and I've got some good people working with me, and we're trying to continue to build on what we started. That might be a segue into homecoming. It's coming up before long. You might want to tell all the people that some of the events and things you guys got planned for homecoming this year. The largest event that we have this year is our Hall of Fame ceremony, and that's going to be Saturday following the football game. We'll, we'll introduce some of those people during the halftime part of, uh, of that game on the 27th against South Dakota Mines. But we're really looking forward to getting an opportunity for those people to get in, get recognized, see some people that we haven't seen in a long time. You bet. Um, Unfortunately, this year we're no longer doing our golf tournament because we have moved that to the summer in hopes of garnering a relationship not only with the football golf tournament that we had in the past, but also the, the basketball golf tournament that we have and make that into a large event. So we're really looking forward to the things that are going on during that weekend. And I know Rick's been uh, talking a lot about cross country today, but why don't you talk about some of your other sports? I know, you know, I know how busy you are. I used to be an AD and you know, the fall, I think by far was the busiest time because there's so much going on. Why don't you talk about I And I don't know if you could touch base on all of them, but give them, give it a whirl there, Mr. <laughs> Sociate AD. How's that? I can definitely do that. We've got soccer that's been well underway. They've done well in their scrimmages. They're over in Indianapolis area this weekend. Um, both of them sounds like they played really well yesterday, and we're continuing to look forward to them being successful. Cross country's underway. Rick gave us a little bit of a insight to how they did this weekend, and it sounds like they're definitely going on the right foot. Um, baseball and softball haven't truly started yet. They're getting ready to roll, though. Had a good opening weekend with football last weekend. Um, obviously, the rest of the sports, the basketball, the swimming, those aren't starting for a few more weeks here, but we're looking forward to a good year across the board. You know, I, did, uh, I don't know if Rick mentioned this, but you, you were talking about coming over here. I know you've probably seen some of the artist rendering of the new facility that they're doing here at the Mines. And have you had a chance to go over and look at that and some of the things and plans? Because these are the type of schools you're competing against, you know. Uh, uh, and I and I saw the plans. It was really the locker room facilities were fantastic and that type of thing. Uh, what, what's your outlook on that as far as the facilities and stuff there at William Jewell College? Well, I had an opportunity to go and check out the buildings that they started over at the stadium, and it'll be a nice facility once they get it done. You know, obviously at this level, raising money is one of the biggest right. things about finding success. And if you can improve your facilities and can continue to try to 
get those donors and those supporters to help you out, you know, that's the goal for everybody. We've got a nice facility at William Jewell College. Our field is very nice. It's got uh, a good history with it. The Maybe Center is an excellent facility for our basketball programs as well as some of our indoor sports. So we do have a great structure to build off. And I think we're going to continue to try to do that through corporate partnerships and also meeting with different donors and, and corporate partners. Yeah, I totally agree. That's why I wanted to bring it up because I do think it takes the people from the outside along with the people inside to make something like that grow and have goals because I think if you're going to compete at the Division II level you have to have those facilities to do that and uh, I just wanted to mention that because I did see what they were doing I was wondering if you got over there or not. I did it's it'll be a nice facility when it's all done. Lucas Morgan is our guest here at halftime. The Cardinals are down 15 to nothing to Colorado School of Mines. We're in Arvada, Colorado, visiting with the Associate Athletic Director. I think we probably need to mention our first Cardinal Club luncheon coming up this Thursday at the Landing in Liberty at 1130. That's right. We've, uh, we're getting it started in September. Um, we'd like to get it going on the right foot, so anybody that's listening today, we invite you to come out to the Landing. Uh, some of our fall coaches will have an opportunity to speak. They'll give a little bit of a background of what they've done so far this season. Our athletic director always, Dr. Darlene Bailey, is always uh, a great speaker during those uh, Cardinal Club luncheons that we have, and we're going to continue to try to, to go. And again, that will be this Thursday at 1130. Uh, you can come in and order lunch. There are a few specials, and then uh, hear the coaches. And, and I, I think we started a tradition a year or two ago of having some athletes come in. Are we still going to do that uh, as far as you know? We will still continue to do that. So if you have a, an opportunity to get out there and meet some of our athletes, we'll, we'll bring a football player. We'll bring um, – couple cross-country kids will bring some soccer players so that'll give you a great opportunity to get out there and meet some of our kids. Lucas tell us a little bit about your background what was the road of for you to come to William Jewell? Well I started out as a as a college basketball player at a, at a community college and then transferred over to, to Newman University which is in Wichita Kansas to finish my basketball career. Um, after that I decided that athletics is something that I wanted to continue to be a part of so um, finishing my master's, I gave Joel Lucan at the time a call and said, hey, would you like somebody to come over and be an intern? I'm, I'm willing to work for free. I just want to gain some experience. And he said, sure, come on over. So that happens. I ended up working as an intern at the college for about a year. And lucky for me, a position opened up, and I've been here ever since. You know, uh, talk about scheduling. Uh, being one of the new guys coming in, uh, you know, having Lincoln and Southwest Baptist coming in. How do you feel about uh, not only football but the total conference setup? How do you like it as far as, uh, you know, uh, compared to what it was before because you have to do a little traveling. But now most of the teams are Missouri teams when you really look at it. Absolutely. And that was one of the things about getting into the conference that we got into. It was a fit for our school, but it also required so us to travel quite a bit. So it is nice to see some of those local schools come in because it does shorten our trips. Yeah. Because when you're traveling over to, to Indianapolis and you're going to some of those schools over there, that is a long trip and it gets the kids to where they miss a decent amount of school occasionally. So when you can make it a day trip or even an overnight trip, it makes it easier for everybody because they can continue to focus on right. their academics as well. You know, I, I think one of the interesting things about that, and we we talked about it when we first got into the conference that our kids are missing actually less class now than they did as members of the Heart of America conference in the NAI. Now, I don't know if that is still true. I would think it probably is, but I thought that was fascinating. Yeah, and one of the good things that we've done with our Jewelverse initiative, which is giving an iPad to every one of our students that comes to the institution, allows those kids when they're on the bus, when they're traveling, when they're in the hotel rooms, to still be able to have access to their classes. Where always before, if somebody didn't have a laptop or they didn't have an iPad, it sometimes made it difficult for them to continue to, to focus on their school while they're on the road. And this is a great opportunity for them to continue to stay in touch and, and to stay on board with what they need to do in the classroom as well. Yeah, I've heard all the athletes, particularly at the golf tournament, talking about how much easier it does make it easier for the athlete and that's one thing I think Jewel really needs to be get kudos for giving the, the students that opportunity. Well what's been great too is our faculty have really embraced it they've already taken a huge step to try to make all of their classes as technology based as they can so that the kids can really utilize that technology and use it towards not only develop themselves as a student athlete but also helping the institution to progress. You bet. Lucas, thank you so much for being with us here at halftime. I appreciate it, guys. Always try to get this kind of weather, Lucas. That's the associate <laughs> athletic director's job, okay? Yeah, it's beautiful here. Lucas, thanks again. Lucas uh, Morgan, the associate athletic director of William Jewell College, has been our guest here at halftime. Colorado School of Mines 15, the Cardinals nothing, and our second half coming up in a moment. 